In this video, we will talk more about esports athletes' career. While there may be multiple ways to approach it, our way is to take some perspective from athletes' career from traditional sports. Esports athletes' career is quite different from a career of a traditional sportsman. This type of career is regarded as shorter and with less phys physical injuries. There is very little grassroots activity in esports compared to traditional sports and fewer leagues to make a living. Also, the career income gap is huge between the best players and the rest. While understanding esports athletes' road to success and potential barriers hindering the path requires more research, it has been studied a bit already. There has been research considering career transitions focusing on career endings such as retirement, termination, and post-career transition. Transitions throughout the entire career are important and it is in rising demand in research. Currently, there is a need for career transition research for the esports athletes alongside with the need of career propositions and alternative career opportunities. This kind of research and knowledge is important for the esports athletes whose career as professionals don't last very long or do not make it into income level in esports as professional players. There are limited opportunities in employment of esports sector. There are a lot of esports players, spectators, and other type of enthusiasts. However, there is not enough places to work in the field of esports or some of the places require higher education degree. It is also understandable that some people who are tied to esports as their hobby don't want to combine it with work. Four stages of athletes' career progress are identified as initiation, development, mastery, and discontinuation. And this is done by researchers such as Brunner, Pamelet, and Willemann. Next, we will go through these progress stages. Initiation stage is considered the introduction stage. It is the stage when individuals engage different types of sports activities and practice them maybe simultaneously. Initiation usually happens in childhood, and there may be a variety of influencers behind uh, children's choice of sports. Influencers may include friends, family, and media, for example. Talents of different individuals in different sports activities can be identified at this stage. I think it is safe to say that parents' introduction to esports for their children is still quite rare. This is at least what, is, what it used to be for the current generation players dueling in the big stage. This, however, may change if the public image of esports changes. Uh, esports is becoming part of mainstream media and will be found easily by the digitative children. Development stage is when a particular sports activity is chosen amongst the many. There is more dedication and practice towards the chosen sports activity, making it more time consuming. Development stage usually starts when individuals are relatively young, adolescent. At this stage, there's usually a specific goal towards which individuals work for. But at the same time, sports is still mainly a fun free time activity. For traditional sports, this stage typically includes coaching on an individual or team level. However, the esports grassroots level has not developed enough yet, and there is usually no coaching until professional level, level or close to it. Mastery is the stage where the individuals can be called athletes and have reached their best competence and skill level. At this point, the leisure activity shifts to professionalism. Sport becomes an essential part of the athlete's life, and the athlete must invest a lot of time and effort into the sport. To reach and maintain the mastery, athlete may have to give up on certain areas of life. Mastery stage is the optimal stage in which the athlete can compete at the highest level possible. There are many players in esports who reach the mastery level, but competition is so fierce that reaching the mastery level will not guarantee any income. 
Esports as income sport is currently so marginal that even though there are many individuals who have achieved the mastery level, the ones that can make a living out of it is a small percentage out of very talented players. This continuation stage is the end of the career stage, the so-called retire retirement stage. There are differences in how athletes retire. Some athletes plan retirement carefully, whereas some people's career may end because of an accidental injury. This continuation can lead to problems as the sport has been a dominant aspect of life. After this continuation, new opportunities may arise. Esports discontinuation may refer to burnout or lack of motivation. Many esports players discontinue their careers as it is too hard to make it to the top and earn income. Majority of esports players cannot use their skills to bring the food to the table. And those athletes who have made it to the top usually transform their career to coaching the specific esports game or become an analyst, for example. Even the best esports players who make a significant income can be burned out, as the high training hours and traveling across the globe wear the players out. Players should be allowed enough rest. In addition to the career progress stages, few career narratives can be identified, uh, which relate to success aspects that athletes, athletes should consider and sustain. Um, there are three main aspects, and those aspects are the performance aspect, discovery aspect, and the relation aspect. The performance aspect is considered perhaps the most important aspect as there will be no successful sports careers without successful performances. Some researchers have started to think that performance is probably too emphasized for athletes to sustain a healthy and successful career. Performance relates to monitoring and developing athlete skills and setting aims and goals. All the development leads to winning, which is essential part of the performance aspect. Performance becomes so important to the athlete that even non-sports-related relationships may suffer. It is important to be very successful and perform very well constantly in esports. The level of competition is so high that if you keep underperforming on top, you will be replaced by someone else. The world of competitive esports is so performance-driven that it is almost brutal and you need to sacrifice non-related, non-esports related relationships to some extent, and sometimes even esports related relationships to push your own career forward. Some people would call this backstabbing. Discovery aspect relates to experiences and explorations related to sports. In addition to work, the sports activities should be fun. Discovery aspect is more about learning and having a good time. Discovery aspects focuses on experiences such as traveling and lifestyle. Top athletes in esports get to travel around the world and have fun and experience the world. There may be some discovery type of players in the world of esports, but rarely have I heard that you go into a land party to another country just for the fun of it. In esports, the tournaments are the thing, and you must perform well if you don't want to pay for the trip yourself. However, you might go to a local LAN party with your friends just to play for fun and in a not-so-serious competition. Relational aspects are related to sports re relationships. You maintain relationships through sports and may find new ones. In short, if relational aspect is a driving one, it means that relationships maintained uh, through sports are more important than good performances. Relational aspect is highlighted in the beginning of the career as you meet new people and build and maintain and deepen your relationships through sports with others. Esports relationships are quite different from traditional sports relationships as they are usually built maintained and deepened through tools online. If you don't have any friends to play with, um, you can go play solo with players unknown to you. This experience, depending on the game, tends to sometimes awaken negative emotions rather than good ones.